वेलकम टू देवाक्षर नमस्कार हाउ टू ओवरकम मेंटल टेंशन टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस बुक रिटन बाय स्वामी गोकुलानंद जी हु वाज एन एमिनेंट मंक ऑफ द रामकृष्ण ऑर्डर ही वाज पोस्टेड एज सेक्रेटरी ऑफ रामकृष्ण मिशन दिल्ली इन सितंबर 1986 एंड हेल्ड द पोजीशन टिल हिज मॉर्टल एंड ऑन 31 मार्च 2007 he was and will always remain a spiritual inspiration to all of us we continue with the book how to overcome mental tension maharaj says let me illustrate with another story one day a family came to me they were residing outside india they had only one daughter and after they returned to delhi they were finding it very difficult to get her admitted to a good school this was the source of considerable anxiety and tension to them similarly another couple came and told me they wanted their daughter to study in a good school but to admit her there they themselves had to face an interview of course this was the cause of much worry and stress sometimes the devotee says well swami ji I want to lead a very relaxed life but I also want to be efficient even if I work at tremendous pace for 8 hours at office the work does not get completed as a result I work faster and longer which causes great tension and sooner or later I find myself going to pieces over small things and that causes terrible irritation to me Maharaj continues This is not a particular instance it is the picture of more or less the whole world today everywhere we are now faced with the hustle and bustle of life racing against time and ending up with tension and fatigue whatever may be our attitude towards life we cannot just get away from the fact that nervous tension has become a regular phenomena It is no surprise then that we rarely find a person leading a quiet, normal and balanced life. A person who is calm and collected and can rise above any adverse circumstances. The crucial question is, do we work properly these days? Our ancestors did not lead hectic lives. They did work, but we do not work like them because we always seem to be in a rush we do not even have the time to eat properly we somehow gulp down whatever we have to take at a breakneck speed either while sitting in a revolving chair in the office or while watching television at home what is to be emphasized is that most of us are in a very highly strung frame of mind all the time Suppose we are driving a car constantly at top gear we are bound to have an accident in our work we often go into high gear and inevitably suffer from severe mental tension thanks to the modern conditions of life created by science and technology we have reduced ourselves to bundles of excitable and explosive nerves is it not a fact that most of us living in this century are tense tired miserable and unhappy we suffer from so much nervous tension and stress that writers characterize this century as the century of stress we also believe that this is the normal state for human beings for in today's world if we have to live we have to live with stress and strain so goes the argument of course some of us do want to take preventive measures for stress induced maladies such as heart attack blood pressure we dutifully go to the doctor periodically to have a routine medical checkup in spite of the checkup the fact is that we remain unhappy and tense we can put up a calm exterior but our face the index of our mind shows our worry and our tension maharaj now enumerates the reasons for this tension the first 
and the most basic reason is that we are drifting endlessly perceiving the truth of this statement may well be the key which unlocks the door to a meaningful life people who realize this and lead a purposeful life are of course exceptions they live happily but others who suffer from mental tension cannot be said to be living at all at the most we can say that they exist they vegetate there is a vast difference between leading a purposeful life and existing only like a vegetable mental tension causes such intense suffering that people prone to it can never be happy their worst and deadliest enemy is constant stress but there are people even in this century of stress who know that somehow they have to come to terms with the existence of stress and use it to their advantage obviously the question arises as to the method of taming stress and using it to our advantage we have to resolve to lead a healthy creative motivated life in the century of stress we can adopt certain means by which we rise above the circumstances that cause stress and strain but if we fail in the resolve we shall be at the mercy of mental tension and the untold misery which it brings swami gokulanand ji illustrates this with the typical instance of a busy executive in a big business house this person is always busy and always suffering from mental tension when he comes home he carries his tension home with him he thinks all the time i'm working in the office from 9 in the morning to 6 or 7 in the evening i am tense if i find a congenial atmosphere at home i shall get mental peace but he does not find what he is looking for due to his own fault when he comes home and tells his wife oh i am under terrible stress there was terrible tension in the office she understands his plight immediately and stays away from him she tells the children not to go near their father or disturb him because he is not in good mood the husband has carried his tension home once a person suffers from tension he communicates it to others he is all the time unhappy and agitated this produces an atmosphere of unrest and tension around him no one comes near him but if a person leads a balanced and calm life he conveys a sense of happiness to the others who come in contact with him there is another aspect of tension a person who is suffering greatly from tension might become say a slave to anger he will then fret and fume and his face will acquire a red hue his eyes will become bloodshot his eyebrows will be constantly drawn together in a frown these internal chemical changes leave a pronounced impact on the face and expression of such a person many doctors say that a person who is in a fit of anger can have a stroke as his heart beat goes up from 180 to 200 per minute usually we are not aware of such dire consequences similar is the case with certain physical ailments such as headache backache high blood pressure indigestion fatigue which are all due to emotional stress all this happens or we allow it to happen because we are ourselves drifting in a sort of neutral mental gear maharaj says as i have mentioned in the beginning if we go into high gear we are sure to meet with accidents whereas we make no progress if we are in neutral gear what does this neutral mental gear mean it means that we are not conscious of the great power that is lying hidden within us as swami vivekananda said repeatedly man is not just a lump of flesh man is omnipotent divine the infinite spirit he also said 
that once we are conscious of our innate divine nature and can manifest it then power strength purity and all that is excellent comes to us but if we are not conscious of the great power which is at the back of our limited physical frame we shall naturally continue to be in a sort of neutral mental gear but once we are aware that there is something divine in us we can change the situation a person may say i often become a victim of different kinds of emotional stress including anger and i realize later that i did not behave properly every person who loses his temper may regret the angry words he uttered by saying i should not have behaved in that way i was not master of myself i lost control over myself and that is why i behaved so badly please forgive me this is a part of our everyday experience but once we become aware of the divinity in us and the potential for infinite strength we can no longer continue to live in a sort of neutral mental gear we realize the supreme truth of the divine spark within us as our great rishis have said we have infinite power to feel free and that infinite power is within us so long we have lived in the darkness and depression without realizing that there is a thought switch in us all that we have to do is to turn it on and get the light of happiness therefore now is the time that we should be aware of this now itself there is something divine in us and if we can connect ourselves to that current which is the source of infinite strength we will be able to lead a happy life in a natural way we all can connect somewhere to what swami gokulanand ji maharaj has to say in the next session maharaj will analyze our daily routine and the result that mental tension has on it hope you enjoyed watching the video we meet again on friday till then stay tuned to devakshar watch and like the videos and do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching devakshar